Close your eyes and bring your mind to the breath. If it wants to wander off, tell it this is not the time to wander. You can wander all day long, but right now try to get the mind under your control. The trick is how do you control it in such a way that it doesn't try to struggle to get away. You've got to give it something good to stay with. So make the breath comfortable. Ask yourself what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. And experiment for a bit. We're trying to develop good qualities in mind and this ability to explore and evaluate. It's an important quality. The ability to step back and look at what you're doing is important. Because the practice is not simply a matter of memorizing what other people have said and then trying to force yourself to see things what, in line with what they said. You use their words as tools. And you develop your own powers of discernment. That's the discernment that comes from developing. You can read about things. You can listen to things. You can think things through. That gives you one level of discernment. But the discernment of actually putting these teachings to use, that teaches a lot of things you didn't know, wouldn't know otherwise. The forces of John's compared to studying military science. You can sit in class and learn all about the troop movements, but then when you're actually in the, in the field of battle, you realize there are a lot of things that you've got to figure out on your own. You've got to use your own ingenuity and then be able to evaluate how well your ingenuity is going. It's not that you just go with whatever comes to your mind. You learn how to test it, and it's in the testing that you also develop your discernment. So here's a simple task to start out with. Learn how to evaluate your breath and ask yourself, what kind of breathing would be good for the body right now? And stick with it for a while, then see what the results are. Then try something else, then see what the results are, until you finally land at something that feels right. This seems the best of all the alternatives. And you've got to keep watching that, too. So the Dharma is not something that you just memorize. It's something that you have to explore and you have to develop within you so that your mind becomes dharma. And that way it becomes a lot more trustworthy, because otherwise what do you have? You have to trust other people. And sometimes they may know what they're saying, and sometimes they may not, and sometimes you may misunderstand what they're saying. So you have to learn how to evaluate things on your own. Someone once called the Buddhist teachings the teachings of the intelligent heart, and that's what we're working on, learning how to make the heart intelligent. Because the heart wants true happiness, but all too often it just rushes for whatever it wants without stopping to think. It's the mind working together with the heart that makes it an intelligent heart. This is what the mind has to do. It has to come up with new ideas and has to test them to see if they really are worthwhile. And when your heart is intelligent in this way, then you, can, then you can learn how to trust it, because your heart and mind are working together, not at cross-purposes.